This is a training video on how to use the GE Mac 2000. When setting up your unit, make sure that the patient cable is connected to the port on the right side. On the surface of your device, you have your dashboard buttons. On the left side, you have your power button, your power and battery LED indicator lights, your lead key to allow you to scroll through different lead options, your ECG key to allow you to acquire a 12 lead ECG, your rhythm key to allow you to take a continuous ECG, and to stop your rider, you have a stop button. You also have a directional trim pad key. To turn on a device, press and hold the power button. On the display screen, you will see your ECG type, your ECG printout format, your date and time, battery status indicator, and your hookup advisor indicator. This tells you the quality of your ECG. To take a resting ECG, first hook up your patient. Use the soft keys to scroll through the different options until you see patient data. A window will pop up to prompt you to enter in patient demographics. This option is configurable on the settings menu. Once you entered patient information, click the save button. The patient's name will show up on the top of the screen. Use the lead key to scroll through your different display options. Once you're ready to take an ECG, press the ECG key. A 10 second snapshot will show on the preview window. Once you're ready to print, select continue. To replace the paper, press the button on top of the system, feed a pack of paper through with one sheet out. Make sure that the sensor is on the top left corner. Close the door until it clicks in place. Thank you for watching our training video on the GE Mac 2000. For more information, please refer to the owner's manual or contact us here at Davis Medical at 800 422-3547.